Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Unless, of course, it's your first time, then I guess just welcome, and uh, maybe we'll hit you with a welcome back on the next one. But, uh, yeah, today we're playing a new game called Lake. Uh, not necessarily a new game, but new to us, right? And I'm curious to see how this is going to be. All right. Looks like we're on the computer. It's funny how a program designed to help organize your life... Is the reason why I can't be at the Labor Day party. Damn. That sucks, man. But I'm glad we made the deadline. I'm glad now I can spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. <clears throat> Hello? Meredith! Steve, uh, hope I didn't wake you so up. So I believe this is I us, Meredith. I home and was wondering if everything worked out alright. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great, and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then uh, Roy classic got really Mike. Sick. Uh -huh. no, wait, Brian, <laughs> and then he fell in the pool, too. No, Roy. Uh, wait. Oh, my God, no I'll way. I'll tell that you is all crazy. More. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah, but, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for Addit. Oh, okay, right, awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Hmm. Okay, Meredith, have a wonderful flight. I so basically, the point of this game, from what I know, is we are heading back to our hometown to see our dad or something or work a post job that our dad used to work but he might be dead Thanks so much for picking me up mr coleman i'm not quite sure mr. but coleman, please, figure it out call me frank we're colleagues now after all oh, okay frank thanks so much for making time for me on labor day no problem meredith postal workers always have each other's back your dad helped me dozens of times whenever i was in a bit of a pickle well i hope i can fill his shoes he hardly ever missed a day Okay, I'm so yeah, sure we are great. doing you his job. While we're on route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little Might not be able town. to work now, I'm not sure. Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. So yeah, I'm taking kind of a leap of faith through this game. more beautiful than I remember. It is a little bit loud. I, I will have to change that in a bit. Driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir. What's the plan? Delivering mail is like My a mouse walk is on the screen the entire time. I apologize boxes. for that. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox and insert the mail. All right. Eat eggs at the mail truck. All right, we're back. Uh, I had to turn I literally had to turn down the DPI in my mouse. <laughs> I have the the setting all the way down it wasn't doing hardly anything so we'll see how it goes uh i kind of forgot what we were doing though because it took me oh deliver mail so it appears we're learning the route really... nothing too difficult all right I... back in the truck i think i should be able to face the challenge <laughs> i bet didn't you go to mit yeah i left here from massachusetts 22 years ago should oh. you get a job in computers then that's really booming right now. Well, actually, um... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Bit of heavy lifting. No problem for a strong woman like me. I wonder if this will fix, though. Uh, it seems like sometimes when we do things, you can see my mouse. It's on the screen like it's preparing to... I don't know. I'm a little confused. But, like I said, I didn't look into this game too much. I kind of just wanted to play it. I thought it'd be a fun little story game. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're trying to upload daily. We're trying to upload, you know, kind of like a cycle of content between a few series, so... Nope. No answer. I'll try it again. That's the last of them. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. 
Should I buy one? Yes. Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Games. Bookkeeping. I always oh. make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Okie dokie. Little tire swing action. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Alright, cool beans, Frank. <laughs> nice to meet you. So I guess this is where we are staying. Wait, am I just gonna spawn in? It's the next day? Yeah. Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all the Oh, they're on a vacation. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh man, I was thinking way day. darker. Freezer stuffed with food and there's That's good. blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. So she came in so her dad could have a vacation. She took over his job for two weeks. I say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for Ad at 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Good one. Good one. Tuesday, September 2nd, morning. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Yawns, I guess. Nah, nah, this chick, she can tell she's good at working. She's good ready to morning, rock. Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. Sure I is, Frank. The mail bag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Jinx. Oh, thanks, I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Alright, let's go ahead and start our brand new job for the next two weeks. wonder what will happen after we finish two weeks. Okay, so M to open and close the map. Oh, so this is our first package, right? Oh, okay, so it tells you on the map. Cool. So, this one is a package. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. I, I guess this one. Let's pick it up. Because we are on Main Street. Hello, miss. Can I help you? Hello. Here's today's mail. Mm, new in town. Your face looks familiar. You probably knew my well, pa. I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago. Back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. <laughs> you do? Yeah, she hasn't left. I mean, well, she has left, but she's back. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said, too. Oh my god, aware. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. I hope not. I like to work on a nice sunny weather day. Especially if I'm outside. Oh, nice bass. Alright, cool beans. On to the next one. 103 Main Street. That Now, that one I do know. Wait, no, I don't need a package, though. Maybe we could just walk over there? It's in my little parcel thing there. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Here we go. The mailbox, of course. This is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Uh, it happens. People move. All right, on to the next one. Let's go. I'm actually enjoying this. Hey, me too. Actually enjoying this. This is actually a really peaceful game. All right, 500 Lake Road. Again, pull that out. So I guess we get to meet all the the people in town every time we drop off a package. Hello, Meredith hello. Meredith was. Oh my god. She oh, actually yeah, recognized huh? me? That's uh, shocking. Now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, uh, it's you, Hello? Right? Excuse you? Call me old. Wow. <laughs> Maureen. Long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. 
Um, I have work to do. I mean, we're in a small town. We're like a post person. Like, who who's really like, what, our boss going to fire us? No, let's okay. have a drink. One quick drink then. I'm assuming it's not a... Little birds I'm assuming it's a coffee as well. Not... Already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, I'd imagine. Coffee? Something stronger? I warn you. I will not take no for an answer. It's like I'm 17 again. Coffee sounds good. No, really, I'm good. Coffee's great. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. Two. And one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. Oh my you god. Have one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Eh, oh, it's a vacation, all right? If you're not going to eat a piece of blueberry have, pie while you're working Ashley, on your vacation, one blueberry pie. there's something wrong with you. And Ashley, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Ashley sounds like she's locked up back there. Ashley? Can we check oh, on her? Sweet Mary, what are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Is oh, Ashley mercy. <laughs> chained to the freaking serving table? Like, are they cutting, like, whatever the, the counters? Like, hmm? yeah, that didn't, that didn't sound, sound good. good. We could have backed away, but I feel like First we need to. Now this? Oh, that poor kid is like a we need the content, man. right? We're not going to leave. So Meredith, looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything. You hear? Oh don't my be a god! Now. She kicked me out. Actual no content, Andy over there kicking me out. When you know, who knows what was going to happen? Oh well, it was nice uh, meeting you, uh, Meredith. You know, I'm Meredith. Marine. Alright, let's see what this baby can do. This thing is so slow. <laughs> God, look at the water. Huge mountain in the back as well. I forgot where it said we were. Oh, she was thinking it too. Yeah, this place is gorgeous, man. Small towns might be kind of kind of meh. I would know I live in one, but... Man, you cannot go wrong with living like this close to the lake. That was my favorite thing as a kid was going to the lake. All right, enjoy your mail, 102. Keep her moving. Oh, kitty. Meow. Wait, they got two. I didn't even see the one up top. All right, 200 Lake Road. I think this is the teddy bear. All right, let's drop off the package, see if anybody answers the door. Now, who would... Oh, look, Genevieve. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your name, then? Hi, Miss... I think it's easier than just explaining all the time. Oh, I'm not actually the mailman. I'm not actually... Well, I'm just here temporarily. It's like, it's kind of annoying. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Uh, did she say my name wrong? It's Meredith. Wouldn't want the cat to get it wrong. Oh, pardon me then. You do remember me, don't you? Uh, uh of course, you're the cat lady. Of course, you're the cat lady. And <laughs> you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here. Struck a nerve with that one. And Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Ah, uh, yeah. Here you yes. go. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Oh, he's very Still sweet. doing everything to get into my good graces, except oh. actually drop by. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh. Yeah, a teddy bear is a Start some drama. A Cook it up, baby. That's for sure. Hm, bit of a nosy posy, <laughs> don't you? I know Frank would never feel up the package. Oh, good. Okay, look at it. It's a teddy bear. I mean, I have to take it out of the Oh, hand. God, here we go. I have eyes. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. Okay, I mean, I hit her with a snarky comment like that, and she's just... Okay, well, have a nice day. All right, on to the next one. In a few days, I won't even need that map. True. 
Because it's in the bottom left, thankfully. I don't even have to open it. Oh. I don't mind if I get a little gas here. We're in Lake Road. That should be our last package. What on earth did these folks order? I mean, it's a brown box. It's not like that. It's not that crazy. Uh, looks like he wants us to just hand it directly to the dude here. Hi there. I've got uh, some mail for this address. Woman, sure actually. Fair. Sorry, did, didn't see. Uh, I didn't think the Luckily, mustache would suit me. I yeah. I think the mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny. <laughs> Good one. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. Cool. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PO than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Well, I don't have much of a choice, do I? Nope. Did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. All right, well, thank you, Lori. Okay, thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Miss W. Ugh, if that doesn't make you feel old, having somebody call you... Miss W or whatever your last name is, like Miss K. I toggled the radio. Problem, I don't know. So, it's on YouTube, right? I, I don't know if it's copyright or not. Yeah, I don't think we should take that chance. I would like to hear the music though, but just in case, I don't know. Near the old lumber yard. Um, well, we're, it looks like we're gonna have to go see Lori. I just hit a pole. This place is pretty nice. Could do a bit of trimming up on the vines, but... A little bit of foliage excess uh, growth on the side of the building here. There's a new face. Swap them out for maybe some flower pots. They might look a little bit better. Yes, indeed. As of today, I'll be delivering the mail. Great. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm Meredith. And here's your mail. Thanks. I better open this right away. Oh, what the? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked. Who does this? Crap. I'll have to open this up right here. Oh my god, would you believe with the mail I just got? Like, no, I, I don't know if I could care. Oh, hey, we'll keep talking. We'll, we'll the develop smell. the characters sorry, a little bit. I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. Now, I don't understand that. You're gonna... Open it in front of me, say, oh my god, I can't believe this, and then be like, oh, you want to know what it is? Mm. Ah, have a nice day, sorry. Alright, well that's uh, day one completed, I think. So I'm curious to see where this game goes. Obviously it's more of just the story, that's why there's a lot of cutscenes and dialogue, but it's very calm though, very peaceful. And like I said, I do like the art style, it looks really nice. Hello, Lori. There is a boat out there. I wonder if we can, uh... I wonder how much exploration there is to be had. Oh, that's it. New day? Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's Mom. Hey, Mom. How are you? How's the job? Oh, it's fan diddly tastic Mama. Hi, Mom. I'm she said, doing great. Job it's is okay. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. I can imagine that. Let's find out about Dad. How is Dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Ugh, don't get me started. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from the bar and Dad's ordering a margarita again. Are they gambling? <laughs> soon. Oh, no. Bit of gamba. Oh boy. She looks like the type to read a book, but let's check out the TV. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. It's gonna let us watch, right? 
previously on Bon Appetit. <laughs> Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen, unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> oh, what a good one. Jeez. I wonder what time, what, what year we're in. I actually don't know. It feels very early, though. Like, uh... What do I mean by early? Like, early technology? Like, that program we are making is, like, cutting edge, right? I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Well, it must be nice, because, uh... She made me Thank not eat mine. Alright, Main Street. So it looks like we're gonna meet even more characters, right? Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a package for you, ma'am. Hold on, your Back to the store? present. Talk about not looking Behind us, it yeah, ghost blasters. Okay. I didn't see here what <laughs> I she could said. Say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly like I own a video rental place. If you uh, were looking to cast I wouldn't say that. You seem very nice. Play the owner of a video rental place. You'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. <laughs> we have these True movies enough. in the back. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Oh, yeah. Grew up here. Just be honest. And now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here. Came to do myself a favor. Hmm. Touche, Mrs. Eastman. Miss. Miss. Um. Is this a bit so your dream? Your dream was to rent out videotapes. Well, you have to say it like Not that. Not a dream per se. More like a vision. <laughs> Came off a little condescending. Like Figured this is your dream. Like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? True. Mm, you certainly have a lot of them. Choice is Can I check everything. one out? I'd like to watch Nothing Oh, The Godfather. I saw that too. Like the right movie Can I check right out uh, Back mm, to the Present? Maybe I should watch more movies. The movie we watched well, last night just was nice wasn't you, doing it. Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. Wasn't a big and fan of uh, Henri. Just return this and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice. Huh, my kind of humor. <laughs> my kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. All right. I'll check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> Kung Fu <laughs> Kid is how that said. Exactly the most popular flick in the shack, and there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Now, why are they doing that? Is there something going on? They both are being very specific on, you know, Miss Angie, Miss Meredith. They both said Mrs. and they're like, uh, Miss? I don't know, something a little sus there. You're gonna have to keep our eye out on that one. Uh, looks like we got a package here. 402 Pine Street. I think that was the one that looked like a, a circle. Yes, indeed. What on earth did these folks order? Well, you heard the cat lady. You shouldn't be nosy. Your dad would have never, uh, you know, snoop through. So don't be weird. Just drop out the package. Uh, let's see if they answer the door, though. We have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. I hope there's some insulation in this um, box. Package for the Evans family. Just a minute, Commander Grace. Permission to explore? Permission granted. Yep, we're the Evans family. Could I just take that <laughs> real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure, here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? Buzz Aldrin? <laughs> Um, God, we are full I, of jokes. Who are you? What, for real? You, you don't recognize your old best friend when Damn. you see her? Damn, Damn. hit her with a who? K? Great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. Ooh, what is the colander? I'm oh, sorry. the helmet? I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah. 
clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got me there. Uh, you're Kay Evans now? You're Kay Evans now? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans? I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Wow. Be right there, Commander Grace! Scanning Man for peaked in high school. life forms. Bad. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. You married Quarter Barry? That is so small town thing. Remember the old high school quarterback? Well, we ended up getting married. You married I haven't left the town. <laughs> and had kids? I had no idea. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. Yeah, that is true. So. But these guys all look very young. 22 years. Like, if I left so, when I was 18, so I heard you I'm were 40. Back in town for a while from Maureen. That's right. We, we do not I look 40. At the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said. A lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Oh, nice. Um. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. All right, well, it was nice seeing around. you again, uh, Miss K. No problem, Miss W. Miss W. Ugh, if that doesn't make you feel old, having somebody call you Miss W or whatever your last name is, like Miss K. See you, K. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. An alien. Call her a Martian. You can say that again. Oh, I thought she's gonna open the door and here I am. Big Martian. All right, we got a few quick stops here. These should be very fast. We're just uh, putting mail in the mailbox. Nobody to talk to. Also, she's not putting the red thingy up. You know, the little flag? Hmm. Same handwriting as the one I delivered next door. I'm guessing party invitations? All right, looks like we just handed off some party invitations, I think she said. I didn't quite catch that. I was looking away for a sec. We're putting the mail in. Maybe we get a little party. Be fun. Off to the next house. Enjoy your mail. Hey, Mom and Dad have new neighbors. Oh wow. Oh no, here we go again. Hello. I already forgot her name. Meryl, dear. Miss so Jenkins. Glad you could come by. Oh, it's quite the emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Oh. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life. The next, he, well, he just wasn't. Okay, well, both He's these answers suck. Both Sorry. of them suck. Heard it when I said it. <laughs> Please, Meredith, be a dear and take poor Mortimer to Mr. Mackey. He runs the bait shop by the lake. He'll know what to do. Sure. Okay, I was right going to say... Here, little kitty, come on. I was going to say first... Wonderful. If these cats are really your world, you're just gonna let a let somebody. I get, granted, we're not really a stranger. It's a small town. I get it. But just give them away and like, can you take them in? Get them checked up for me. But also, she has so many cats that maybe she just can't leave her house. I mean, they're everywhere. Like, granted, you could put them inside, but uh, sorry about blocking the road. I'm new here. Here you go. Here's a cat. Oh my god, we can't we can't put the mail in because we have to go turn it. <laughs> okay. All right, so gotta go, gotta go hand off the package. Then we can deliver the mail. So she really just like interrupted our route there. I'm be honest. Let's make sure we're going to the right place then. Okay, the package is super far away. I'd have been really annoyed if we drove all the way there. The guy originally was going to. Thinking package was like the cat. But yeah, we're gonna head to the dock and uh, or the bait shop, and then we'll have to drive all the way back. Thanks a lot, cat lady. Already on one of my least favorite clients list. I'm, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just say it, man. I'm just be completely honest. Our first interaction, you know, you you accuse me of being a little nosy with your package, like, and now this. Now you're just interrupting my route. I thought I was being helpful, but oh, this is the guy, isn't it? The lumberjack. It's the same truck. Oh, he's just outside the back. 
Mr. Mackey, I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah, Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... Oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Oh my god. I'm, yeah, I'm sure she I'm has. I'm sure she has. <sighs> Leave him with me, I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Fresh fish? What a lucky cat. Sounds good. Sure thing. Goodbye, Mr. Oh, I guess I could have kept talking, okay. but uh, I Bye, cut him Mr. off. Mackey. I just said, Bye, sounds good. Adios. And that cat is not having it. Nothing like my cat. My cat is a sweetheart. All right, let's go back to where we just were. All right, now we're going to go drop the package off. Or mail. Just a letter. An envelope. And now for the long drive all the way to the other side of the lake. Maybe we'll catch some stunning views on the way. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, look at this. We're heading into a tunnel. It feels like we might be in, like, Canada or something. It's kind of the vibes I'm getting. All right, we've arrived at the motel. Uh, honestly, maybe we stay the night here because it's a long, it's a long drive back. You know, we're here already, so maybe we can get a sodi at the vending machine over there too. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. He's gaming on the job. I mean, I don't blame him. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute, I'm busy. Okay. okay. Sir? It's like you don't understand. I can't save the game yet. Hold on. Is that a parcel for me? Mom, hold on. I'm sa I'm I'm saving. Just give me a second. I can't save yet, Mom. <laughs> um, yes, okay. sir. Oregon Trail Motel. You can just put it on the counter. Yeah, you can. All right. All right. Have a nice, have a nice day. day. Hey, in the future. If you ever have a kid, you'll be able to do the same thing with an iPad. It's crazy. Jesus. That guy just did not care at all. wonder what game he's playing. Yeah, I'm just going to continue on forward and uh, check out the rest of the map here. Check out the rest of the road. I'm noticing by we passed down the map there. There's a barn back there. Might have to check that out at some point. Oof. I am exhausted after a hard day's work. Can't wait to go check in at home and... Uh, Maybe check out that movie, uh, I forgot her name already, but she gave it to us. Miss Angie, maybe? There it is, hi. Oh, hi Steve, how are you? Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? Uh, yeah, I suppose. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. I sent a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> nice one, Steve. Okay, when you didn't have to give him that good of a laugh. When do you need the feedback? Oh, well, it should arrive tomorrow, and I need it yesterday. I could just send it to your post office, right? Uh, yep. Yep, can't miss. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. Okay. <clears throat> add it, 87, add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, Are I we in 1987? Did it just take me till now to figure that out? Okay, I'm a little slow, guys. Yeah, yeah, let's watch the movie. Alright, well, let's watch this. Could at least get some popcorn or something, maybe a bag of chips. Maybe some, if you're feeling healthy, maybe like some raspberries, you know? Something to snack on, maybe some walnuts. Oh, Steve's parcel. And a note from Tess. Hey, Em, hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. 
Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. All right, well, that's probably going to do it for today. Uh, we'll have to check out what other adventures lay ahead for us in this game. Uh, if you guys liked it, I guess feel free to hit the like button. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys want to see more, because I don't think it's too long of a game, but we will try to play the entire thing. I will make the episodes a little bit longer, just so we can kind of get through it, because there is a lot of dialogue and stuff. But yeah, thanks guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.